Okay, if you're using intermittent fasting, you're not stuck with just plain old water during your fast. In fact, there are actually 10 things that you can add to your water while still seeing results with your intermittent fast. And the first one is mint. This one's a little raggedy because I've been using it all week, but mint is actually a natural appetite suppressant. So especially if you struggle with cravings or you're new to intermittent fasting, adding mint to your water can be really useful. Obviously it also adds flavor to your water. So if you're on a fan of just plain old water, mint can be really great. And it contains essentially zero grams of carbs and zero grams of protein. So it's not not going to break your fast. You can try infusing just regular mint into your water or you can boil water, pour it over some fresh mint and make a fresh mint tea. Okay, the second is cucumber, but it really depends on how much you're using. This is a Persian cucumber, so it's obviously a lot smaller than a traditional cucumber, but when we're determining whether or not something can break a fast, it really depends on how many grams of carbs and protein it has. Because the whole reason why intermittent fasting works, especially from a weight loss perspective, if that's what your main goal is, is it keeps the body in a low insulin state, which turns on fat burning. So you want to make sure that anything you consume during the intermittent fast is not going to raise insulin and therefore stop the fat burning process. Now, two things will break a fast and it's protein and carbs. The specific amount of protein and carbs that will actually break a fast will really depend on each person. So I like to be on the more conservative side and go by what I call the one gram rule. This is what we use in my complete intermittent fasting bundle. And it basically just means that you want to make sure that the total grams of carbs and protein is less than one gram. So if you stick to about one eighth of a regular size cucumber. So obviously this one's a little small, so not quite that one or less that you're putting in your water, then it won't break a fast. Just make sure that you're not chewing it. Otherwise this will stimulate digestion and this could break a fast. So you really just want to use cucumber as more of an infusion into your water and less of something that you're actually eating. Okay. The third is salt. And in fact, most people actually need a lot more salt during their fast than they even realize. Obviously salt has zero grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, but it is chock full of electrolytes that you are losing a lot of while you're fasting. Because when you are in that low insulin state, the body releases a lot of water and a lot of sodium. And that sodium loss is what can cause people to feel that headachey or low energy, muscle fatigue, or even constipation. So adding some salt either into your water or taking it with your water is a great way to replace those lost electrolytes, especially sodium, which is one we're losing the most amount of. So you could use regular sea salt or you could use something like today's sponsor, Element. Element is a zero sugar electrolyte company that was actually created with fasting in mind. As you can see, it has the sodium, it has the magnesium, it also has the potassium to help replace those lost electrolytes that are really easy to lose during the fast. I personally like to use their unflavored option during my fasting period, but there are a few of their flavored options that follow that one gram rule as well, particularly their mango chili, their watermelon salt, and their chocolate salt. And then I'll also have some of their other flavored options like their raspberry salt, their citrus salt, lemon habanero during my eating window to really make sure I'm getting all of my electrolytes. And Element is really easy to use. It comes in these super convenient small packages. So all you have to do is tear open the package, dump it in your water, give it a shake, and you're ready to go. And just a side note, what's also really great is if you're someone that likes to have a little bit of flavor added into their water, you can get that by adding Element into your water and then also be getting your electrolytes too. And right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's a really great way to test out all eight flavors. So you can get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash autumn. This is only available through my link. So make sure to check out drinklmnt.com forward slash autumn. Them. The link will be in the description down below. Okay, the fourth is lemon, but again, devil's in the details here. So a quarter of a regular size lemon has less than one net gram of carbohydrates, but you're actually probably able to be a little bit more flexible with this one because lemon is also rich in acids. And those acids have been found to have like a blood sugar stabilizing effect similar to apple cider vinegar. So aim for around a quarter of a lemon, but if you go slightly over, then you're probably fine. Okay, the fifth is ginger. And especially if you have a gut health goal with intermittent fasting, ginger is very useful. So you do want to stick to about one tablespoon of sliced ginger in your water to make sure that you're not going to break your fast and break that one gram rule. But something that's really great is that ginger helps to stimulate our gut cleaning process called the migrating motor complex. So this is only turned on when we're not eating, which is why intermittent fasting is also a great gut health tool, but this can really help to kickstart that gut cleaning process even further. So you can take about a tablespoon of sliced up ginger and just infuse it in your water, or you can just add boiling water on top and make like a ginger tea. Okay. The sixth thing you can add to your water is bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles in your sparkling water will not break your fast. I have my own sparkling water maker with the soda stream at my house because we have it pretty much every day. And you can even add those different flavors like the lemon or the ginger or the mint to your sparkling water as well. Okay, this next one is very iffy and very borderline and that's chia seeds, but I wanna bring it up because there's like some people who do use it and it could be okay in certain situations. Now chia seeds will 100% break a fast if your main goal is the gut health for 
perspective because it does require digestion, so it will shut off that migrating motor complex. But if your main goal is weight loss, then you actually have a little bit of flexibility because chia seeds are mostly a source of fat. It does have some protein, it does have some carbs, but it's mostly a source of fat and fat does not raise our insulin levels. So you can use up to one teaspoon of chia seeds in your water without it breaking that one gram rule. Now, I don't do this, but it is worth mentioning because there are some people who do like the texture of it in their water, but just remember one teaspoon, no more. Okay, the eighth thing you can add to your water is tea, which may be obvious and maybe not, but also the same goes for turning your water into black coffee. In fact, there's a whole list of things that you can add to your coffee or tea, which I'll have that video linked right up here if you guys wanna check that out. Okay, the ninth thing you can add to your water is apple cider vinegar or ACV. Not only is this fine, it's actually recommended. Just make sure that you are diluting it. We use a drink called the apple cider vinegar sipper in my complete intermittent fasting bundle about 15 minutes before we go to break a fast to help stabilize blood sugar levels before the first meal. So using about a table spoon of apple cider vinegar in your water is great. Okay, the 10th thing that you can like kind of add to your water, or this is more so take with your water, are most supplements. Most are perfectly fine if they are in the capsule form, as long as it's not protein-based, like a collagen supplement, because remember, protein can break a fast. And also as long as it's not a gummy vitamin. Gummy vitamins will absolutely break a fast. Not only are you chewing it, but it also tends to have about six grams of added sugar per serving. So those will break a fast. Now, if you're wondering how long it actually takes to see results with it, intermittent fasting, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.